What's up, you guys? Uh, welcome back to my channel where I do random stuff, really. There's not really like a thing that I do here on this channel that is like consistent. I just do whatever. But today I'm going to be painting some canvases to put up in my new apartment. And I literally have no decorations on my walls or anything. They're like completely naked. And I need to put something on them. <laughs> I'm gonna be painting moon phases and I have like five canvases here. I love anything that has to do with moons, you know, whatever. I, I, I think the moon is just gorgeous and beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting out the shapes that I wanna do because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cutting them out and I'm gonna be, first I'm gonna paint it all black. The canvas is black. Then the cutouts after the black dries, then I'm gonna put it over like a stencil and you know, do what I gotta do there. So I'm just gonna be using a plate and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace around. I just extended it out a little bit so maybe I can get a little bit more of that sharpness right there. So that's what I did. And I don't need these, so they're going right there. Pretty much don't need that anymore. Now I'm just going to cut these out. All right, so that's how the crescent moon is looking. Let me turn it this way, actually. <laughs> cool. So that's one stencil. There, that's the half moon done. Now let's get this full moon done. I'm so excited for these. All right, so I got my canvas, my brush, my black paint, and let's start. Okay, I think that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then I'm gonna paint the rest and I will be back. Okay, so I have, my canvas is drying and basically, I'm gonna start with this one because this is the driest one. Okay, I got my white paint. Got some texture sponges. Hopefully this will turn out good. Okay, so here we go. I okay, maybe I'm gonna need some tape. I got some tape. Cause we all know it wasn't gonna work out. Okay, hopefully that's good. I'm just gonna... <laughs> no! Pretend that didn't happen. Okay, let's see how it turned out. I'm trying to take this off as carefully as I can. And then I'm just gonna clean it up with the black. Go over the lines again. Because I'm definitely, definitely went over. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that. That looks like a real moon. That looks so good. Except that, you know, I'm a little, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some black paint up in here. And clean. 
clean those edges up. Cover them up. There we go. Gonna make it sharper right here. Go over there. See? Oh my god, that looks so good. This looks so good, you guys. I didn't think it was gonna come out that good. because there's not really like a there's not really like a hook on the back I guess I just you know put my own hook on there and okay let's do it again oh they look so good I love them I love it already I can't wait to do the rest of this did because i know the moon had like different textures and stuff i actually really don't like that the way that turned out this one looks good but this one looks too like too planned out maybe i'm gonna have to redo it but this is how it looked you know it has like the dark the upper dark peak you know side of the moon and then it was lighter down here and it has like these like little bursts but i'm gonna I'm fix this one because i don't like that one so, just wanted to show you how that would look. All right, so I fixed this one. So this is how that one's looking. And then I did this one. So they definitely look a bit different because you know their moon phases, moon phases are probably not the same. So I did this one a little bit different than that one. And I think it turned out pretty good. So I got those down and then I'm thinking that I want to add like a little, like those little dots I have on there on the other one. I think I'm going to just add a couple. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's start it off. And uh, for real though, I definitely want all the edges to be super bright.
Tell me why it looks so good. Oh my God, I can't wait to put them up. I'm putting it up over my table right here because it's very naked. <sighs> wow, 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 looks good. Well, next time you'll see them, they'll be up on the wall. Here we go. I absolutely love it. It's so stunning. It goes beautiful with my little Victorian goth, I guess, chandelier kind of candelabra thing. As, I mean, the table's not really done yet. I still wanna add more, possibly something different, but it just looks so good sitting right above it. Maybe I should have brought it a little lower, but I kind of like it that way. Yeah, if you wanna see more DIY, DIY videos, um, make sure you subscribe to my channels and push the bell for the notifications. And yeah, you know, my table is a little off-centered, a little bang bang, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Bye you guys.